everyone. Welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. Today we're going to be doing a haul video, but it's going to be a little bit different than other haul videos I've done before. Before we get into that, let me just invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're watching. And if you don't like what you see, I guess you can hit the thumbs down too. And don't also forget, don't also forget that we have a Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. You can join us over there to talk about all things reselling in a very positive environment. I've only got about seven, I think seven pairs of jeans here to show you. So this isn't a traditional haul video or huge haul or look at all the things I bought. I was thinking as I was going through the laundry we did yesterday and folding these jeans, there seemed to be a common theme between this batch. And each one of these jeans has something special about them that makes me source them and yes they're american eagle they're you know american evil e eagle levi's some brands that you guys are used to seeing around here and i tell you they're brands that i will pick up all the time for our volume based business but there's certain things about certain pairs of jeans that makes them a little more desirable and they will sell faster so as I was folding the stuff out of the laundry yesterday, I thought, you know what? I'm going to pull out any of these that have these special things about them or something about them that to me makes them more desirable to buyers makes them more desirable. And typically these will sell faster or have a higher sell through rate than other, other jeans and these same brands. So I pulled out this uh, handful here to show you and talk about it. So American Eagle is a good brand. It's good for bread and butter. The jeans that sell the quickest for me are these 360 Super Stretch. So there's a lot, there's a lot of American Eagle jeans out there. I do find that these 360 degree Super Stretches do really well. It's because they're really stretchy and comfortable. And I tell you this all the time with this brand and Gap and Old Navy. They do have certain uh, lines or styles that once a woman finds a pair of jeans that looks good and feels good, that is the only pair she's ever going to buy again. I have lots of friends who only wear a specific brand and usually within that brand a specific line. Um, and they'll buy, you know, four or five pairs and that's all they'll wear. So these 360 degree super stretches clearly have a following and they sell quicker for me than any other American Eagle. So look for that. I did want to mention um, Levi's, you know, they have a lot of numbers. 505 is one that I pick up. Um, I pick up quite a few of the Levi's 550s, the 711, 710, 310s. Um, I don't have any to show you, but the two super low and the two super skinnies do really well and sell quickly. Um, but these 505s, I find, do really well in women's. They do well in men's, too. But I like the 505s. Save those for last. Then we have another American Eagle. So this is the next level Aeroflex. And this does just about as good, if not better, than the 360-degree next level stretch. Can you see it? This is next with the X and the parentheses. And these are all things you want to put in the title when you're listing these, right? Because this is what people are looking for. Women who like the X level Airflex or the 360 degree Airflex or the Levi's 505s or two super lows. That's what they're searching for. So you want to have it in your titles. Also, you see this? So not only does this have the next level Airflex, um, they're ripped. Believe it or not, jeans that are ripped like that, that adds value. <laughs> it really does. It's crazy. These are boyfriend jeans. So these are just Levi's. Um, Levi the original, but because they're boyfriend jeans, they are going to be more desirable and probably sell more quickly. I would say the boyfriend jeans in any brand. Um you get them. The boyfriend style does really well for us and it sells quickly in all the brands. 
and Old Navy Secret Slim Pockets Super Skinny High Rise. So any of them that are the Super Skinny High Rise, I hope you can see that. The Super Skinny High Rise. That's what I do really well with. Plus, button fly, button fly jeans, guys. They sell quickly. And I actually typically start any jeans with button flies a couple of bucks higher than my typical price. So I start most old navies at 20. I would start these at 22 because they have the button fly. They have a hole. They have raw hems. They have um, just things that make them different and more unique, more desirable. So these would start at 22. And I have started my search for booty shorts. It is only January, but spring is right around the corner. So I'm going to start sourcing jean shorts and booty shorts when I find them for 99 cents and getting them in the store now. Uh, not everywhere is cold all year. People in Florida are still wearing shorts. It's summer in Australia right now, and we do international shipping. But folks will start looking for these before you know it. So I'm going to get mine loaded in. These are high rise. Secret Slim Pockets, but you'll notice they're button fly. I haven't sourced or listed um, jean shorts or booty shorts in a couple of years. Reason being the cost of goods in Florida was just so outrageously high. that Even on half off day, these would have cost me $5. Um, and that's just not, that's not great for, that's not good at all. So I wasn't sourcing them to list them um, because the cost of goods was just too high in Florida for purpose of flipping um but when i can get them here in piles and stacks for 99 cents i grab them all the time the last time i remember doing old navy i would start these around 14 to 16 dollars depending on the style and the size hopefully that still holds true and i may start these at 17 or 18 even because of the button fly and these are um a size two so they're smaller but they're cute Small sizes for us do just as well as the plus sizes. All right. And then these are Harper. This is okay brand. It's decent for 99 cents. But these were super cute and unique. Um, they have the rips, which again, rips and tears that are factory made. Um, even some that are self-made do make jeans more desirable. And then these also have the raw hems. And I find that the raw hems on jeans, actually, um, it could just be coincidence, but anytime I list jeans like this and I put raw hems, they'll sell more quickly than uh, another similar style and size in the same brand that have regular hems. Um, I don't know anything about fashion at all. I wear t-shirts and jeans and pajama pants that's what I live my life in um but I can tell you what works for me raw hems sell quickly flare jeans boyfriend jeans I do charge more for jeans um I have a higher starting price I should say for jeans with rips and button flies and then I do have um my bread and butter brands that work well for me and then within those lines those brands there's specific styles and stuff I look for so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below. I do answer everybody. Go be productive, guys. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.